You know what? People have actually come up to me and like, they thought it was real. Well, it was real. How am I supposed to answer this? They should probably know that Larry Perkins is burp. People have been like, dude, who was it? Like, because they don't think it's actually a dude named Larry Perkins. They think it's some other dude, you know, P-Rod or, or, or somebody, you know? The tricks were like, like such a small portion of what the whole, the whole scenario that Larry Perkins laid out for that was genius. You know, like with the gun, the tricks that he had to do, like just what he said, it was so good. I was at this Starbucks one time, and I'm not a super Starbucks head, I don't know all the lingo, and it was the first time I saw like, I wanna say, probably an eight-year-old girl on an iPhone. It was hers, full like, California, yeah. And she's like talking to somebody like, yeah, all right, but hold on, can I get a venti? And just ordered a Starbucks. And it was insane. It was, it was one of those moments where I felt so archaic. Like, am I the old dude that's like, you youngsters today, or, or is this jacked? It was weird, really weird. Yeah, I don't know what the Marble Mouth is all about. I love Bam, though. He's awesome. What you do get from where I'm from is a lot of people. There was like the use, use guys, the wooder. You don't call a creek a creek, you call a creek a crick, which doesn't make any sense, but I still did it. Dude, you know what? I would love to drop a use if I weren't from the actual town that was next to the town that dropped the use. They offered a while ago, and um, it's been pushed back a couple times. I'm not sure like where the offer lies at this moment and where it's at. What they've said is that they didn't want to do it in New York and they didn't want to do it in South Africa or DC. So my three still stand for whichever next one I skate. I hope it happens and, uh, and I'll definitely be in there. But it's really weird to be like, what tricks are gonna win? It's more like, I'm gonna try to get rad. And also, you can go and get rad and not win. Pretty crazy. Deer Deck's not like psyched. Like, hell, hell yeah, go do it. But he's like, dude, if they're gonna offer you a million dollars, hell yeah, go do it. That's a lot of money. It's a lot. Like a lot, a lot. I had a yellow camo shirt in my sponsor me tape. Don't know if you've seen it. But it's it's like it's it's banana flash. It's like yellow, gray, like this weird like taupe color. Like it's just jacked. Oh, I, I remember exactly where I bought it. I was like, this is funny as hell. <laughs> like that's what I thought. I was like, this is amazing. This is funny. I love yellow. I'm down. And so I wore it, I thought it was funny, but like everybody didn't get the joke, you know, because I wore it every day, you know? So if, if it's a joke and you wear it every day, it's not really a joke anymore. Oh man, you know what? I'd have to convince my whole team that that was a good, cha a good idea. They'd be like, ah. You know what would be sick is if we could do it for like a, tr like a trade show. Give out a crossroads, like yellow camo shirt if you come by the booth and like try to make it cool. Like the Axel Converse that nobody has, that everybody wanted. They just said Axel on the tongue real big, the white and red. It sounds fake, but I lived it. And I don't really lie. 